That's the way it is. Good days and bad days, up days and down days, sad days and happy days, but never a boring day on this job. You do what God's called you to do. You show up. You put one foot in front of another. You get on the rig and you go out and you do the job, which is a mystery and a surprise. You have no idea when you get on that rig, no matter how big the call, no matter how small, you have no idea what God is calling you to do. But God needs you. God needs me. God needs all of us. Hey, my name is Stephen McDonald, and I'm a detective in the NYPD. our faith. Michael Judge, we know about Michael Judge, but we love Steve and I will follow him and we'll walk with him whenever we can and wherever he leads us. So I wear this uh, so I can take them all with me, all the names on it. This is all the first responders who, uh, who ran toward danger that day and I want to be able to take them all with me. Uh, so I wear this flag on the walk and it represents their lives. We carry that burden of their lives and their untimely deaths with us uh, every day. Today's a day we can really remember them in a beautiful setting, uh, and their memory is embodied here in Father Michael Judge at his parish in the firehouse across the street. Father Judge was our chaplain, the fire department chaplain, and uh, he meant a lot to all of us, to Patty Brown, Terry Hatton, all of the 343 from the New York City Fire Department. Um, so we're honored to retrace his steps uh, from here, West 31st and 7th, down to the World Trade Center, uh, where he used to make this journey often and stop at firehouses and precincts and thank them for their service, thank, you for, thank them for their protection. Uh, he was always there for us. Uh, praying for us. In fact, on the day of September 11th, that's exactly where he was in the lobby of Tower One, uh, praying for his, his guys, his firefighters, his police officers, and indeed all of the innocent souls that were murdered uh, on that day. some of the families of the fallen first responders. Meeting them made me see once again how acts of destruction are never impersonal, abstract, or merely material. They always have a face, a concrete story, names. In those family members, we see the face of pain, a pain which still touches us and cries out to heaven. This is Claire, saved for seven years. Copy. Got a paper. Now, where are you coming from? Scotland. Edinburgh. Yeah. Now, what do you do back in Scotland? Oh, I work for high school. I'm a school sports. Um, high school would be for 11 to 18 year olds. So, I have this weird saying is like, I'll, I'll never forget 9 11, but I'll, I choose to remember 9 12. Because 9 12 to me is when there was such community and such camaraderie and people I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it but 912 was when they were, when society was at its best I do hope that you know a hundred years from now there's somebody else taking pictures instead of me <laughs> there's still people walking and they uh, and they get the same goosebumps that we do and the same feeling of camaraderie of remembrance you know I know it's we remember father Michael judge who I never met who I never met but now he's part of my soul
Stevie, and myself, Jack Cook, Bill Schillinger, Tim Ryan. Uh, we worked very hard to make this the event it is, and we'll continue to work with the event. I remember being out at a fireman's funeral in Long Island before 9-11, uh, and just being really profoundly sad. And I, I didn't want to stay afterwards at the collation. I just wanted to go home. And so I went out and got on the Long Island Railroad in my, uni my dress uniform. And who pops onto the train right after me is Father Judge. And uh, he took one look at me and he said, uh, halt. And I said, sorry, Father, I, I don't understand. He said, halt. I don't understand. He said, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. And then he went on to counsel me on all four of those things that he saw in my, in my haggard face. And by the time we got to Penn Station, uh, I felt a whole lot better. Yeah, you know? it's, it's, it is. And I've seen him with the, the widows when he speaks to them. I mean, there's nothing, not worse, but you know, I, every time, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I just want to shrivel up. And he always just been able, and you could see him just brightening up on a horrific circumstances and helping them and it, it is absolutely amazing. Oh no, it only gets better. It only gets better considering. God bless us.